Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Here we are again Friday, getting ready to leave out of here and go to work in a while. Uh, I'm going to read to you from the book of 1 Thessalonians. Probably have read this before, but we're going to read it again. 1 Thessalonians in chapter 4, verse 13. The writer says, the Apostle Paul, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. So he's talking about those who, of course, passed. Um, don't be overly concerned with them um, as those who have no hope, those who have died outside of the Lord. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. <laughs> Every time I read this, I think to myself in verse 17, then we which are alive and remain. And what is he talking about there? We that, that exist and remain? We know the scripture says if we have never been converted, if we've never been saved, then we are still in our sins, and we are dead in our sins and trespasses. So when it says we that are alive and remain, it doesn't mean that everybody that exists upon the face of the earth, but it actually means those who are spiritually alive, those who have been changed, those who have been born again. We which are alive and remain should be caught up with them in the air and to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then he says, comfort you one another with these words. So today, hopefully, uh, this is comforting to you uh, to know uh, that when he comes, if you have not already passed, when he comes, we will be, we will go to meet him in the air and be where he is. I heard this song the other day. Of course, this is a hymn straight out of the hymn book, and I'm not sure if I've ever sang it on here before, but uh, uh, hopefully it's something that you will uh, be able to sing along with and enjoy it. Let's see if we can find a chord. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me, joys ours to share what rejoicing there will be when the saints will rise Head for that jubilee yonder in the sky Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting On that happy morning when we all shall rise Oh, what glory, hallelujah When we meet our blessed Savior in the sky Seems that now I almost see all the sainted dead Rising for that jubilee that is just ahead In the twinkling of an eye, change with them to be All the living saints to fly to that jubilee Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting On that happy morning when we all shall rise Oh, what glory, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. When with all that heavenly host we began to sing, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring. Millions there will join the song, with them we shall be. Praising Christ through ages long, heaven's jubilee. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting, 
On that happy morning when we all shall rise, oh what glory, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. Got that air conditioning vent, blows that air into your throat sometimes, it makes you a little dry, but we got through it. God bless you. I hope you have a great Friday. Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity that we've had today to look into your word, Lord, and to read it and to comfort one another with these words that whether we be gone or whether we're going when you come, God, we're thankful that we will be where you are and we will enjoy heaven's jubilee for sure. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Saturday.